Well, folks, uh, what I have here is Fremont Brewing out of Seattle, I think is where they are. Session Pale Ale. It's session, meaning lower alcohol, 4.5%. Yeah, it's pretty low. I'm going to go and show the bottle. It's pretty basic, really. There's you know, not a lot to see here. Family and Brewster in 2009, small batch. They're looking at the Fremont district of Seattle. It says 4.5% alcohol on the side. On their website, I found a little bit more detail. It says it's made of two row white wheat, C15, Dextra pills, malts, Citra Quinot, I guess, and Simcoe hops. Two row pale gives some bread flavor, but mostly uh, fermentable sugars. White wheat gives wheat flavor. C15 is a crystal malt. Uh, I, I, I've never seen C15, I've seen 10 and 20, but those light ones are usually very, very sweet. Dextra pills, uh, usually that stuff gives body and head retention. Citra, Ukanat, I, I don't know how to say it, I've never actually pronounced it. And Simcoe hops are largely fruity, tropical. Citra is a wide array of tropical flavors. Mostly when I use them, I was getting mango out of them. Simcoe, I was gathered, that was supposed to be great. I never did get that out of it. Equinot, I don't know, never used it. The aroma is fresh hops, tropical, and honey. Flavor is lemon, fresh cut grass, and toasted malt. How would you know what grass tastes like unless you're eating it? It's available all year round. It was $4. I'm anticipating this to be a light body. Okay, I don't really have anything else to say on that. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now. It's a bright color, it's Budweiser color. It's pale. Um, I wouldn't say straw color, close to it, but it's definitely yellow. Absolutely clear. It looks like uh, somebody's piss test, actually. If it was Budweiser, I'd say it probably tastes the same. Thin head, about a quarter inch. Oh yes, I can smell the hops already. Fruity, tropical. It's noticeable, it's nice, it's very pleasant. Light tropical uh, tone to it. I'm gonna go drink it now. Light body, 80, 90% sticks to the roof of my mouth, the rest fits on my tongue. A little bit of a hop nibble. If this is really 50 IBU, it doesn't taste like it. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it's maybe 35. It does give me some tropical citrus in the mouth. I can't distinguish what exactly it is. It's very bubbly, very effervescent. It's a little thin, a little watery, but not much. But the thinness, I get that from just simply being a light body beer. They don't say it's light body, but I'm sure it, I'm sure it is. It has a little bit of tropical fruity, citrusy flavors with that hop bite in the background. The hop nibbling does stick around for a fair amount of time after I drink it. But overall, it's not bad. Uh, it's a little more hoppy than I'd like it to be, but it's still not hop that hoppy in beer. They're saying lemon. I get that. That could be from the hops. Fresh cut grass. None of these hops I'm reading about are known to be grass. I'm not getting any sweetness. Now, they say fresh hops. I don't agree with that because when I think fresh hops, I think fresh used the way a fresh hop beer really is. The hops are picked and used the same day. No, this does not taste like that. The flavored aroma is citrusy with a little bit tropical. I'm not getting malt out of it. No candy sweetness, which disappoints me. I was expecting that from the Crystal 15. The initial hit pops, you know, the tropical citrusy flavors. That fades and then it comes up with the hop in the background. Okay, I'm gonna try the bottle now and see how that compares. I'm getting with, hit with both those, those tropical citrus tones and the hop bite at the same time. Covered mostly top of my mouth, a little bit down the tongue, stays there and just ever slowly dissipates, but the hop bite stays behind. Still tastes uh, light body. There's not any complexity or character to this, I would say, except for those malts. I mean, except for the hops. I still, just out of the bottle, I get no sweetness, no candy, no malt, anything like that. I think if it wasn't quite 
as high a level in hops with, a, with that bite, that bitterness, I think I could probably tell those other flavors. There are no off flavors in this beer at all. It is not skunked. I don't get any diastol buttery flavors. I don't get any DMS, which is a vegetable, cooked, cooked vegetable. There's no mouth puckery, no fusel alcohols, chemical paint thinner, nail polish. I don't get anything like that. I wouldn't consider this a well-rounded beer. I'd consider this just an everyday base succession like beer that's a little bit hoppy. Would I buy this again? I would not. When I see the tropical hop type hops used in there, that's what I want to taste, not the bitterness. Would I recommend it? I would, yes. But it's just a little too hoppy for my liking. I'm going to show the bottle one more time. Fremont Brewing as Seattle, Washington, Session Pale Ale. So that's all I have for this review. I'm going to go ahead and finish my beer off. Cheers.